Hello everyone and welcome back to another week of our Mercedes Sprinter camper conversion. Today we're going to be starting to build the internal cabinets of the van. This video is probably going to be split over a few weeks. We'll be designing and building some of the cabinets in a different week. Today we're going to be building some of the kitchen cabinets. We've decided which cooker we're going to be going for. As I mentioned in previous videos, we'll be going for the Thetford K1520 cooker. If you haven't checked out our video where we went up to the NEC camper van show, we'll put a link to that video just up here where we show you the cooker that we're going to go for. They've now released all the specs for the cooker, so we know all the different dimensions that we need to fit in. So let's go and show you where we're going to be fitting that in the van. So this is where the cabinets are going to be going. If you haven't checked out our previous video of our van layout, we'll put a link to that just up in the top of this video. So we've got a cabinet going in the corner here just over the wheel arch that's going to be having some drawers in it and then a large cabinet on the front. We've then got our area for our cooker marked out here. We've got the dimensions for the cooker so that's all marked out. And then next to that we've got some worktop space and then going over the door we'll have our sink cupboard which will have our sink in it and then a wide cupboard underneath. So the first cabinet we're going to be building is this one just in the corner here. So we've got all our measurements, we're going to be using some 12mm ply to build this, so we're going to go and get that cut and get it built. So we've now cut out two side panels, two rectangles, dimensions are 500 by 910, standard cabinet sizes for height, and we've measured up the cooker, which has got a little bit extra just for a bit more clearance onto the walls. So we've got two of those for our side panels. We're not going to be putting any backs into these cabinets because as you saw we've got a ply lining piece of wood on the inside of the van. So we're now going to be scribing these so that we can join them together. We're going to put some braces across. We're also going to be putting some shelves in here as well so we'll be using a router just to route some lines in so we can slide some shelves in and then screw those in. So next job now is to route around the edges so that we can put some top and some bottoms on. So let's go and do that. So we're now going to take each of the pieces of the board and we're going to route a line across a 12mm thick line, probably only about 5 or 6mm deep, we don't want it to go sort of too far through the board. And then this will be our bottom, so we'll be sliding a bottom piece in here, so we need to do this on both pieces of board. So we're going to set the router up and get that done. So as you can see we've now routed two lines in our pieces of wood. These are where they're going to, the bottom shelf is going to slide in. And then we'll be screwing from the other side just to secure that in. Obviously we'll be adding some glue into here as well. As you can see it's also started raining, which is really annoying. Uh, trying to keep this wood as dry as possible. But it's just really annoying with the UK weather every now and then just getting these rain showers. But we're going to soldier on. The sky looks pretty clear, so hopefully it'll cl clean up soon. So the next job now is to cut the piece of wood for the base and then slide this in and start joining the cabinets together. So we've now had to retreat into the garage is it's actually started snowing. So as you can see, this is what we got to contend with British weather, but we're gonna carry on for as much as we can. Obviously we've got everything inside now out of the wet. So we've now cut our base piece, which is gonna be the base that is gonna fit into the bottom of the cabinet. We've cut this just a little bit narrower than the cabinet itself. Obviously we've now cut these recesses in. So we still want the cabinet to be 500 mil wide. So we've cut this a little bit narrower, obviously the depth of those uh, grooves taken off from the 500. So this is now all sanded down and we can start screwing the cabinet together. We've added some additional notches just in both pieces of wood. These are just going to be for some braces that we can put in along the back. So we've got just here and then two along the top which will be used to strengthen the cabinets up but also on the top we'll be using those to screw the worktop onto. So we've got those on both pieces of boards so it just stops them from going unsquare. Obviously they're going to be in the van, the van's going to be moving around quite a bit. Just gives it that bit of extra strength. So the next job is now that we're going to be securing the base in and actually building the cabinet up. So as you can see we've got our two routed lines just here. So we're going to be fixing the base in with some glue and some screws. Hey everyone, so as you can see we're back in the studio. Unfortunately last weekend the snow and the cold got to us. Couldn't do any more outside so we had to come in. We were hoping to do a little bit more this weekend on the van but again the continued bad weather has meant that we had to abandon again this weekend. 
As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the cabinet build out is going to be spread across a couple of videos anyway, so we'll leave this video here. We thought we'd put this video up for you so you can check out what we've done so far, we'll, but we'll be continuing to build those cabinets out over the next couple of weeks. Again, we'd just like to say a big thank you to everyone that has subscribed to our channel. If you do like these videos, remember to give them a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed, remember to hit that subscribe button. We love hearing all your comments, seeing all those new subscribers come onto the channel every week. We love putting these videos up for you, so remember to give us some love in those comments down below. In the next couple of weeks, we are going to be going up to the NEC Motorhome and Caravan Show again in Birmingham. We Notice you really liked our previous video, so we're going to be taking you along again. If there is anything that you would like us to check out in the show, anything you want us to look out for, just leave us a comment down below and we'll be sure to check out those things in the show for you and produce a video on them. If you are new here, welcome. We do try and put up a video every week, uh, but as I've said in this video, the weather does get to us sometimes. It means we can't get outside and do some work on the van. Both Charlotte and I work Monday to Friday, so it's only really the weekends that we get the opportunity during the winter to get out and do stuff on the van due to the light. As we get into the spring and into the summer, hopefully we'll get some more time out on the van in the evenings and later in the weekends, so we'll be able to get a bit more done. We're hoping to use the van at the end of April, beginning of May, so we're hoping to get as much done as we can before, before then so we can get out and use the van. But until next time, look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye!